Hey, what's going on guys? Yesterday I created a video called Google three pack ranking secrets, how to set up your homepage on YouTube. I created a banner. It said steal my homepage and I got a lot of positive feedback from that video. Seems like it really cleared up a lot of uh, questions that people had as to how to set up their homepage on their website, either to set it up for a keyword or set it up for the Google category. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the results. I think you're going to be quite surprised in just 24 hours. Google picked up a lot of the changes that we made and we're, we're actually starting to rank a little bit. So watch this. Okay guys, so just to recap from yesterday, for people who haven't seen the video yesterday, we uh, re-SEO'd, if that's a word, uh, the Chef Von 360 website. And let's just talk about a little bit what we did. If you saw the video yesterday, I st still think you may pick up one or two things that you may have missed, all right? So let's just go over it real quick. What we did was we uh, re redid the content on the website so Google could clearly pick up what area we're from and what we do. Okay. So we used the Google category, which is caterer. And this is an H1 tag. And like I said, went over this yesterday. The description is below. Uh, you'll see the full video. I'm just going to sweep through it real quick. Then you'll see a uh, vegan catering St. Peter. That's also an H1 tag, right? And then we asked, what is a caterer? We put the uh, keyword in the picture. We found the most popular picture uh, in Google by typing in vegan caterer in St. Petersburg. And we found that it was, it was a picture with vegetables. So we wanted to use the same type of picture. We branded it and put a keyword over it. And we did the same thing here, right? We created an H3 tag. So what we're trying to do is get found for best vegan caterer. See that right there? We're going to try to get, these are all the top uh, keywords we're going to try to get found for. Best vegan caterer, top rated caterer. Also, Google does this. They do mix and match. So like top, top rated vegan caterer or uh, caterers, uh, barbecue, BBQ caterers. See that? So it'll take a keyword from this, from the first one, and then from the seventh one or, or, or sixth one, it'll take another keyword and so on and so forth. So it's, you don't have to keep repeating the keyword caterer, uh, catering because Google's going to take it, take a piece from here and a piece from here. I hope that, I hope that uh, makes sense. That's why we put the word kosher in and uh, local caterer, right? And somebody may search a uh, local caterer that does barbecue, right? So we have those keywords in here and that's the H3 tag. I go over this all in the video yesterday. And then these are the additional uh, Google categories. We haven't built these pages out yet, but these are the other categories, wedding planner, wedding uh, event planner, wedding planner, and also uh, catering for food supply. Then below that, we did a page on St. Petersburg, Florida. And it's just my theory that if you're trying to rank in a city, no matter what city you're trying to rank in, you should do a you should do a, a portion of your website, a section of your website dedicated to that city. Now, this is St. Petersburg, Florida. We didn't just put all of Florida, right? So if you're in New York and you're in uh, Chinatown or I would just do that specific section that you're trying to rank in, right? So if you're in uh, California, and you're in Los Angeles, but you're in a smaller section called Koreatown, well, you should speak about Los Angeles, California, Koreatown, right? So over here, we're speaking about St. Petersburg, Florida, okay? And then below, we did the footer, and the footer is areas we serve. That's gonna go to the other pages, the other city pages that we built, neighborhood pages, geo pages. Find us on social, that's gonna to go to all his social media. And then find us across the web is going to be a page of all his citations. So we're just going to create a page of all his citations and directories that he's in, and that's going to go on his website. 
all right? We created the hours exactly as they're listed in the GMB. We didn't just put M through, uh, Mun through Sunday, 24 hours. You'd have to list each and every day. We added the phone number, the email address, as well as embedding the Google map. So that's just a quick recap. Like I said, the uh, link is below if you haven't seen the video from yesterday. And let's get on with the results. So this is a snapshot of Chef Vaughn's GMB. And yesterday, we created the uh, homepage for Chef Vaughn. We redid some of the content on the website to focus around the word caterer, which is his GMB category. We're going to build out the rest of the pages over the next week or two, which is event planner, mobile, wedding, catering food, as you see on the screen. But the homepage we created around the word caterer. So today, I just want to show you some of the rankings where he's ranking for that keyword. So guys, I use a program called Local Viking. And the reason why I use Local Viking is because in different areas of your town or city, you'll notice that if you put in the same keyword, for example, at a friend's house or at your business, as opposed to your home, you'll be ranking in the Google three pack. Maybe, uh, maybe at home you're ranking first and maybe at, at your business you're ranking uh, fourth or fifth. And that's because uh, Google uses something called GeoGrids. GeoGrids are um, smaller sections of your city. So in order to see where you're ranking in each part of the set, of the city, I use a program called Local Viking. And uh, I'm going to I'm put the link in the description box below. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't do affiliate links, so it's not that I'm getting paid. I don't care if you buy it or if you don't, but I think it's a great tool if you're watching this video and you're doing uh, SEO for clients. You need to have the proper tools, and one of them is definitely, you can't do SEO without Local Viking or, or a GeoGrid type program. All right. So in this GeoGrid, you'll notice that uh, for the keyword caterer, see on top where it says search term, the word caterer, you'll notice that he's ranking number one in almost the heart of the city. And he's also um, in second and third place, which means that he's in the Google three pack in the heart of St. Petersburg, Florida. But you'll also notice that in uh, historic old um, Northeast, which is east of the city, he's not ranking in the Google three pack. So what I may ask him to do is see if he has any clients or friends in on the East Coast uh, in the historic old Northeast, and maybe they could provide some um, Google five star reviews from that area. That'll be a signal to Google that he does business in that area. We'll also start creating some Google posts talking about the historic old Northeast area and some catering jobs that he's done there. Wink, wink. See what I mean? So you want to show relevancy in that area, but if you don't have a program, a geo program, a geo grid program like, um, like a local Viking, you'll, you'd never know that you're not ranking in that area. And, and from Gulfport to uh, historic old Northeast, it's only a couple of miles. It's only a few miles, several miles, 10 miles maybe. It's not that far away. So um, you should definitely be able, you should definitely have a GeoGrid program. The one that I recommend is, uh, is Local Viking. Once again, the link is below. I don't have an affiliate link, just click it. Uh, I would definitely get signed up with them because you need to see where you're ranking and you need to provide other signals. So another thing that I would do in historic Old Northeast is I would create a page for that area. I would talk about everything in historic Northeast. Of course, if you've ever noticed that when you do a Google search and the results come up in the Google three pack, it will say um, this site mentions, the website mentions, right? The website mentions, but does it show in relevancy in either where you are or what you do? So this uh, GeoGrid program is a great way to see where you're lacking and where your strength is. I guess if anybody has a boat, we're kind of popular in the water also. Fourth and fifth, anybody needs catering out in the water, <laughs> I, guess we're, uh, I guess we're ranking over there too. 
So I really hope that this video helped helped you. You you want to create for every GMB category that you pick in the Google My Business, you want to make sure that you have a page created for that category. The most important category, your first category, create your home page around that category. So if it's caterer, if it's electrician, create the page around that category. And remember, people are coming to the website to find out information. Yes, they want the best caterer, and yes, they want the best electrician, and then they want the best lawyer, but Google is providing answers to clients that, are, that have questions. The reason why you go to Google is to find something out. That's why you Google it. So you need to have the answer on your website, right? So if you didn't check out the video yesterday, you definitely want to check it out. And that is definitely going to help you. And just remember the most important thing is uh, please be careful um, with this virus that's, that's going on. And uh, please wear your masks and, and stay safe and uh, tell your family you love them. It's very, very important. And uh, we'll catch you the next time on the next video. Hey, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave questions in the comment box below. Uh, please like and subscribe. I never ask anybody to like and subscribe. That's probably why I only have 3,000 uh, subscribers. Hey, 3,000 is something. Very grateful to have them, but uh, maybe more people could just like and subscribe. And uh, I have the links below for uh, to, to leave a uh, to leave a Google review for mine. So if you have a couple of moments and you could leave a five star review, that would be great. And we'll see you the next time. Thank you very much.